welcome to SD and the Wolf. This is a quick comparison between the Samsung SSD for the Evo and the Pro. The Evo is the peasant's version, obviously, and the Pro is for the master class. But let's see how true that really is. Are we just paying for the, the red box on the front of it? Okay, these are the specs that I extracted. So the first thing, if we go from the bottom, that's actually the biggest difference, is the, the Evo comes with a five-year warranty and the the Pro comes with a 10 year warranty but I think 5 years is, is very adequate in this kind of technology because after 5 years you're going to not really want a replacement and maybe because it would be so small maybe we'll plateau with, with, with disk space maybe we won't require as much anymore but it's doubtful to seem the size of applications and games these days Yes, the MTBF is the same. That's the mean time before failure. So when they do their testing of all the products, they may test you know, 20 or 40. And the average uh, failure time is 2 million hours. So that's pretty good. The power usage on the Pro is a little bit more. Maybe it's because it's older, I don't know. I mean, I bought the Pro a year ago. And uh, the they are slightly different hardware, I guess, because one's a 500 gig and one is a 512 gig but anyway the Evo uses 3 watts and the Pro uses 3.5 so if you're really watching that power consumption you know there's a tiny little difference in there so now moving up a little bit the uh, briefly looking at the the specs that I extracted from the PDFs and it's kind of funny that when you look at the PDF for, for one of the products you look at the bottom and it compares all the products now that makes you think the specs above that are all the same and they're actually not if you look on the different PDF pages they all have different, slightly different specs, not that huge. So I'll go from the top here. Say I, I looked at the price today and you're talking about a $80 difference. I, I actually picked this up as a second one. So I have the Pro, I picked the Evo up in, with the intention within a couple of weeks when Windows 10 comes out, I'll reformat and I'll, I'll install Windows with these guys in RAID 0. Because my current setup is two Intel 80 gigs, about four years old I think, in RAID 0 and they've been fantastic performance. So moving on, anyway, you see the price is $80 difference at the moment between the Evo and the Pro, and you really got to question what, what you're going to get for that. I so say there is a red square at the bottom if you prefer that over the green square for the Evo. So I, I've compared all these. I got rid of the the different size chip uh, SSDs, so we're just looking at the 500 with the Vice 12 for the Evo over the Pro. So we can see the type, the controller, the technology, which I talk about a lot more about in the previous video. I'll link to that is all the same. The sequential read is very slightly different. I mean, it's 10 meg, but we're talking about out of 550 megs. It's a very small percentage. And again, with the sequential read, they're supposed to be exactly the same. The uh, the lower numbers, I think, is like the IOPS. So it's the uh, in, in and out processes per second. And the, some of the tools I run now, that it will show that. So we'll move on to the first test. So these are the uh, my free drive, so I put the Intel in there just for reference and uh, the lower two are the uh, Evo and the Pro that we're actually comparing against each other. And I've fast forwarded this, this test takes quite a long time, this is in HD Tune. Now if we get the results at the end of this, the Intel is doing really well on the burst, as you can see, I think that's the RAID 0 in that really old drive. So the access time is in between the Evo and the Pro, the Evo does really good on the access time, it's actually half the, I mean we're talking milliseconds though, or it's a third, sorry, of the of the Pro. And something that's strange is they're all the same CPU usage, you thought it would have got less and less. It seems the Evo has kind of outdone the, the Pro in all the different areas. And the RAID is quite a bit behind in a lot of the very, it's not very consistent, it gets a ma high maximum, but you can see its graph before, it's very jagged, so you're not going to get the consistent uh, values that stated there. That's why the, the minimum's quite low and the maximum's super high. But the burst rate's incredible. I'm really uh, excited to see what these uh, Samsung drives will be like in RAID 0 too, and I'll probably make a little video about that. So we'll move on to a few different tests because you never know what these tests are, are doing in your system and it's nice to have a, a few different uh, software applications to compare with. Okay, this it, we're still in HD tune here but we're going to do the random access test because that's uh, it's kind of a hard hitter. And you'll see as I as I run this it just basically does like a, a point analysis all over the place on the spectrum of this of this scale. And I'll place the, the, the results from the top uh, being the Intel, the middle being the Evo, and the lower one being the Pro. 
I think the thing to to look up here also is the the lower level on the random, and that's basically which should give us the the biggest differences. But we can see there the intel's popped up and the numbers are just still incredible. And just on the right hand side, the speeds are pretty cool. But that is a, a RAID Zero SSD, just an old, really old generation. And here with the Evo, as that comes up, you can see that as the bottom right, the average speed is ridiculous. It's just over 500 meg. And even the Pro, when that comes up, it's not really as good as the Evo again. See, so yeah, I can't really see where it's better. So this is the, the file transfer test in HG Tune. So uh, with the Intel, which is my C drive, you can see again it's uh, massively all over the place. Goes up to 800 megabytes per second, but it looks like the mean is kind of around three, three to 400. And I'll switch that over to the the Evo, or the Pro, or the Evo. There we go. So you can see straight away with the consistency of these new SSDs. So that's a good uh, like 160 meg above the on the read speed for the over the Intel, and we'll see what the difference is for the for the for the Pro. I think read speed is one of the biggest important factors for PC performance, unless you're doing some kind of high, uh, massive 4K video editing or something. But that's more of a very linear task rather than something like gaming where it's mainly reading all the time. So yeah, that's slightly above. I mean, it went from 493, was it, to 504? So it's nothing really, nothing really in comparison. So this is an older program I have. It's called HD Tax. So I always used to use this. Now the I don't know if this reads things properly because the the uh, Intel RAID is overwhelming. It's like. Uh, 2340 megabytes per second but it does show that the Samsung comparably to the the Pro and the Evo the Pro doing a little bit better it's like 20 megabytes per second and one thing that's funny on here is the the access speed it only goes to tenth of a millisecond because drives never used to be anywhere near one millisecond no matter tenth of a millisecond so they don't even register for the Evo the I think the Pro was 0.1 and CPU utilization is really, really small. I wonder how CPU utilization is measured in this because it doesn't really pick it up. And on to the next little tool. Okay, this is Crystal Disk Mark. It's freeware. You can go and grab it from uh, crystalmark.info. And uh, he's, he's got quite a little uh, good tools there. So here we have the Intel RAID on the left, the Evo in the middle, and the Pro on the right. So as I run through those, you'll just be able to see the comparison, and the uh, the two new Samsung drives are uh, above and beyond in this utility. Really shows you the difference. Again, the Evo is a little bit better in the right. There, exactly the same on the sorry on the read. Exactly the same. Exactly the same on the right for the top bracket. I was kind of suspicious at first if like my my pro is not running as fast as it should be, but then in some some tests it does uh, quite a bit better and than the Evo, so it's not clear cut. And you can see the lower 4K test is very resource hungry, so that's really going to show the difference. It's 22, 37, and 36. So on to the third and final one, and this is the part of the magician Samsung magician software. It's got a little performance tool, and so we'll try this and see how it compares. Maybe this one will show it a little simpler. So at the top there we've got the Intel drives. And there we have just running the test now on the on the Evo and then below running the test on the so it's a it's a it's a heat race really. Uh, running the test on the pro down below. So we got four seventy eight read on the Intel, we got five forty and five it's quite interesting that the, it's exactly as stated for the read speeds from the Samsung software. The write is incredibly slow on the Intel in comparison. The Samsung uh, up there at 5.15 on the Evo, 5.14 on the Pro, and the IOPS are very, very similar too. Yeah, so we have just 1,000 different for the Pro, and that's about it, I think. So 
I hope this has been of use to anybody who think it might be worth buying, spending the extra 80 bucks on the Pro. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe some uh, direct disk tests are required. Uh, I'm no quibbles at all using the Pro and the Evo together in RAID 0. I don't think the Evo is going to be slowing the Pro down that much. Maybe I've missed something. Maybe there's some software tweaks that I'm missing. If there's anything you know, please leave in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.